M0 FXP Radtail RT880 or the UV90A. How do you set the time? So you just go menu and then keep going go upwards, I think, until you see time management. Select, then go down, system time, that's number five. And then you literally just start to type. So mine is actually quite accurate. It's only one hour out, which is interesting. Um, and you can see I've even got a GPS log there. So basically, just start to type, as you can see on mine, 2508. And it's a 20 second today. And the time on mine is actually 11.28. I wonder if it gets it via GPS. It actually might. Press OK. And then when you back out, that's it. You've got your time set. Now, I wonder if it, if it will keep it when you turn it off. Hmm, maybe. So, that's interesting. We've got the GPS showing there. So I've set a shortcut button so I can see my GPS when it gets a lot. Just hold down the 5. There you go, that's my GPS. Go back with the two orange lines. And also, if you want to, I've set number one as a shortcut for the band scope. And that's it, and the bottom button gets you into sort of HF radio mode. It's just a real shack in the box. Some people say to me it's not a shack in the box. Well, I think it is. I think it is, I think it just receives so many bands. I feel like it's a shack in the box and we've got it in full band mode which means I can sort of mix and match I've got CB here VHF UHF and to get it into that just turn it off hold down the down arrow and turn on uh, and then uh, keep your finger on that's put it back into sort of what normal mode where you actually have to select uh, which mode so we're sort of using CB mode at the moment and you can set a shortcut button as well to change those modes we've got 66 to 620 these parameters but if you do what i just did now it does affect your sort of scanning but if you turn on hold the down arrow sorry about my gloves um and then you can start to mix and match again hope this helps bye for now how to set the time